Hello everyone and welcome back to High on Life, and let's get right into it. Hey, uh, just so you know, you can uh, use the Bounty 5000 to revisit any planet you've been before. There's portal doors all over. You can just uh, use them whenever and grind for money, look for loot you miss, whatever. Up to you. Just thought I'd tell you. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I want you to meet the, I want you to meet him. He's uh, looking Let's to talk watch to him. your step, kid. I didn't give you all this swag for free. Five foot two. Hmm? Five hundred pounds. Mm. Fifteen minutes on this planet, and she's already out there dating an alien. I'm ready to side with your sister all you want. Just remember who gave you that top of the line bounty suit. Okay. Just leave me alone. I'm trying to watch TV. Oh, fuck, we forgot to oh, contact Is there a number? Oh, no. Uh, no. Uh, we didn't oh. get... Uh, no, we're good. Oh, okay. I can sit down. I got you. Bye. Hello, and welcome to Human TV, your number one choice for the scariest human movie fresh off the newly discovered planet Earth. Good luck out there. I'm going to go explore Blim while you're out there bounty hunting. Hey, be careful out there. Humans are a valuable commodity. Someone might try to snatch you up. I can take care of myself, Jean. I almost thought you were gonna leave me out to dry. Anyway, be careful out there. You can do this. Thanks for having my back. But Jean, ugh, you're lucky we're family. Just hurry up and save humanity, okay? So we can kick this guy off our couch. I'm fine. Just trying to get a lay of the land and meet some people and take my mind off shit. Sorry for making you pick sides earlier. Did you really kill another G3 guy? I mean, when the hell did you learn to do any of this stuff? Was it really just all those shooters you played in your room? Guess I'm glad space gave you an outlet. Who knows what you might have done on Earth. All right. Let's do another bounty. <laughs> Douglas. Let's accept Fucking kidding me, we had to get here when there's a goddamn sandstorm going on, bunch of fucking sand in my eyes. No, you're you got a helmet on. No, I don't I don't. Okay, I should probably hit this to see where we're going. Oh, this stuff's real shiny. Perfect. Ooh. Oh, I don't care, I just wanna stab it. It is so fucking dangerous out here with this fucking weather. You never know what kind of shit's gonna fly into your face with the wind and the sand, but but we should be able to make it to Dreg Town if we just, you know, trudge through it. Oh shit, oh, green. Oh. Look, look at him go. That broken ship parts. Does it taste good? I have no idea. I'm not, I'm not about to give it a taste test. In the distance, you know, that was the first settlement out here pre G3. We gotta pass through there to get to Douglas. All right, uh. hey, you know, I, I'm sure this goes without saying, but the you know, that green stuff is toxic and will it will hurt you, so don't go in it into it. Uh. Good to know. Well, my car. Them things shooting from all the way over there. All right, I can see Old Town. It's just across this bridge. Beams. And uh, you know, I'll tell you what. Support beams have this right. spot, but they are not the. In whoa, 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 tough guy. Hey, 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 look, walk whoa. wherever you want. Hey, this is a fucking, fucking mac and cheese brothers us. construction site. We ain't done here. Hey, but you gotta be careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Hey, calm down. What the hell? How do you want to handle this? Maybe we just, you know, move past. Are you them. kidding me? You think you could just walk up into a mac and cheese brothers construction site hey, like you're some sort of fucking you? Jesus Christ whoa, and just whoa, fucking whoa. walk around like you own the place? There's a hey, goddamn hey, bottomless hey, pit over here, asshole. You think you can survive? That's right. You better fucking run away. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, I can't believe what we have. Hey, what's the big deal, you? Hey, what the hell are you doing? 
What's your big deal, bro? Hey, what the frig? Holy shit, those guys are intense. You know, you could have killed them, right? I would have been fine with that, I think. Slice him right up. Alright, we don't have to head that way. Alright, Old Town, we just move through this place and we'll, we'll get to Douglas. Hey, you whippersnappers looking to get into Old Town? Hey, we should talk to this guy. I calls him like I sees him. He, he seems helpful. Right. Howdy there, partner. Welcome to Old Town. They call me Old Wet Grundy. How can I help you? Uh, why do so, they call uh, you that? Why do they call you Old Wet Grundy? It's because I'm old and I piss myself every day. I'm doing it right now. You're, you're pissing yourself while you're talking to us? Oh, yeah. Big time. It's still going. Oh, this is the good one. Hey, do you happen to know where we can find a, 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 a guy named Douglas? Douglas? The, 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 the G3 fella? <laughs> oh, oui. He's a rough one. Never seen somebody drink as much as him. Why, just last night, uh, nope, I, I shouldn't speak out of turn. The G3 don't like that none, and I don't like them. Just head down to Dragtown. I'm sure you'll find them. And how do we get to Dregtown? It's 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 been a little bit for me. Oh, that's easy. You just go through this gate, pop an old town, and shoot straight down the main strip. You can't miss the big Dregtown entrance. It's a real goddamn eyesore. Wish they'd get rid of it. I'll open the gate for you. Oh, well, thanks, Grundy. That's always Grundy. And of course, opening the gate's my whole job. It's why I'm here. I'm happy to do it for some charm and young women shepherds like you. Oh. Have a good time in there, youngin. That party last night was crazy. Did you see how wasted Douglas got? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Next time, don't join the G3. <laughs> this is getting my blood pumping. Oh, there's more of them. Excuse me, is I, I just curious, is, is uh, there a fella named Douglas down there? What, like G3 Douglas? Uh, yeah, it's his job to be down there. I heard he was partying pretty hard last night, though. Hey, I, I can't let anyone in right now. There's too many recruits causing trouble in town. I get in trouble when that happens, so I'm gonna keep the gate locked until they stop. Or get killed. Wink, wink. Uh, are you telling us to kill them? Whoa, I didn't say that. I just said wink, wink, and... Okay, yeah, that's what I meant. So go kill him, and, and I'll let you through. Alright. Alright, so we gotta head this way. They were right. 
Head over here. Make sure there's nothing over here. Hey, Honcho, let's clean this town up. Mysterious feeling that there's probably some more G3 causing trouble, you know, somewhere around town. We, we, we should, we should maybe de deal with it. You. Yeah. Ah, oh, there he is. Let's head over to this side of the place, the east side. Oh shit, more G3 causing trouble. Come on, oh. just make that again. We're allowed to harass people. Time to take out the trash. Oof, I, I got too confident. I don't know, I'm not sure about that. I'm sorry. Anyways, uh, l l l l let's, uh, let's poke our way into Dregtown now. Let's go to Dregtown. Thank you so much for saving me. Oh, my God. Thank you. Uh, but you know what? I kind of, I'm kind of thinking I would have fucked him. So now I, I don't know. I'm going to go think about that. See you later. Oh, uh, okay. You think about that. Hey, careful. I got a real loose ass. Wait, what? Why am I tired? That doesn't make <coughs> any sense. You did it. The town's all cleaned up. I keep tab till I don't know how many times I've told the recruits not to cause trouble out there or if someone's gonna kill them. You told us to kill them. Tomatoes, potatoes. I'm just a dumb gate guard. Whatever, head on through. All right, ride the elevator. Nope, we got all of them. Ooh, you heading down to Drag Town? It's way cooler than Old Town. I, old Town's a boring dust bucket, I'll tell you that much. I hate the G3 Old Town. really spruced up Drag Town. You can get anything you want down there. Drugs? Sure. Sex? Yep. Those are the only two things I can think of. Oh, wait, laptops. You can get laptops, I bet. Drugs, sex, and laptops? That's Drag Town, baby. That's a little weird. 
this the elevator? Looks like it. Alright. Fancy elevator. Are you looking for glory? Then join the G3 cartel! My name's Douglas, the G3 chief of training and torture. Ignore that second bit for this ad. This was just about the training. Well, goddamn, that, there, there's Douglas right there. Uh, that's how you know we're in the right spot. Well, perfect. Loading. I'd like to get off now. Oh. The other side opens up. Again, this ad is about the torture. Uh, the last one was about joining the G3, but this one is about how I love torturing. It's not an ad for anything, it's just like a reminder that part of my job is also torturing people. Enemies of the G3, random strangers who look at me funny, anybody. I'll torture whoever. Doesn't matter to me. I just love doing it. Okay, that's it for this one. That's a wrap. All right. Where do we gotta go? Stellan is part of the Mothers Against Violence Treaty, so no violence. Wow! Ooh. So this is what a G3 run city looks like. Anyway, yeah, I'm excited to join the G3, but I'm gonna miss my wife and six kids. Oh yeah, I had my kill before I left, so I wouldn't feel bad. Wow, so smart. I'll do that too. I'm gonna kill my wife and kids so I don't miss them. Oh, that's horrible. So, like I was saying, my brother told me Douglas is really into torture. Like, sexually? Does it matter? Yes, to me, it needs to be sexual. Why are you telling me this? I barely know you. Oh, my bad. Yeah, just sort of spilled out. Well, now you know. Do with it what you will. I'm not doing anything with it. All right. I don't even know if I needed to be up here. No violence allowed here. Damn, can you believe they built all this on the bottom of an asteroid? I mean, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's a good place to hide out, I mean, but yeah. As often goes on. And decided it would be fun to have a few small... You were all at the party last night, right? Douglas was fucked up. Oh, yeah. Alright, we gotta head over here. Hello there, my child. I'm oh. No! Accidentally reloaded. Whoa, look at that! Look at that! They got they, they're, they're fucking dealing with some creebles over there, dumb fucks. Okay, shit, I, I guess let's just kill them all. training facility. Maybe Douglas does the training in person. Maybe he does. Okay, Douglas again. This ad is about the torture. Okay, uh, let's, the last one was about let's try to get G3, inside. But this one... Oh, I love the torture. It's not an ad for anything. It's just like a reminder that part of my job is also torturing people. Enemies of the G3. Random strangers who look at me funny. Anybody. 
anybody. I'll torture whoever. Doesn't matter to me. I just love doing it. Okay. Sorry, G3 recruits only. No yellow goop armor. No entry. Speed it. God damn it. Okay, we're gonna need to find some way to get in. Uh, okay. We're not listening to a future corpse. Hey, hey, you can trust me. He's fine. I'm trustworthy. I promise. Hey, hey there. Thanks for coming over here. I'm the goop guy around these parts. You wanna sneak in the G3 facilities? You gotta get covered in goop. That's just how it goes. My stuff's quality. So you, you want some goop, right? Uh, you know what? Yes. How about how about a big fat yes? Let's go. Perfect. Head down the alley there and just uh, let the magic happen. I guess. Uh, d don't don't worry. First goop's on me. Just tell all your buddies about it. I'm the goop guy. I do goop stuff. Is that a giant burgle? Oh, oh, this fucking so oh my god the smell oh my god i'm gonna fucking throw up okay okay i'm all right okay hey look at you you're all gooped up i gotta be honest it won't last long it's not the real stuff so you better be quick get in get out don't stay in there too long don't lollygag because this stuff's gonna fall off that's the goop guy I promise. that's the game um. nasty Oh, looky here. We got another gooped up G3 recruit. Be advised that the G3 cartel is not responsible for any life threatening injuries you may incur on these premises. But even if we were, we wouldn't give a shit. Who cares? I hope you get shot. Good luck. Uh, thanks. Are you fucking kidding me? They have some whole thing prepared? Shut the fuck up. It's starting. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm sure you already know who I am, but for anyone living under a rock, I'm Douglas, G3 Chief of Training and Torture. And wouldn't you know it, I like to blur those lines a little. Training, torture, what's the difference, I say? Look to your left, now look to your right. Both of those people are gonna die today. You are about to jump right into an accurate warp-based simulation of what it'll look like to be on the real battlefield. And let me tell you, you're probably gonna die. But hey, if you don't, you get to join the G3, big whoop. All right, that's it. Lock and load, fuckers. Oh my god, is that... All right, shut you it saw off. that, right? I got torture in the That was a Gatlian. Do. Douglas has a Gatlian. We, we, we got a rescuer. Jesus, these fucking Merkeloids. Oh, fuck, here we go. Oh, I, shit, I hope it's not too difficult. course oh okay okay you know what it looks like some simple platforming you know like what you see in like lucky's tail on uh you know or um you know really you got hurt you know that, that looked like it should have been easy oh god i'm slipping i'm slipping i'm slipping Listen, you're not gonna impress me if you stop messing up. Okay. okay, let's just get this over with, please. I don't know where to go. I think it's. Whoops. I just... 
left. You know, uh, listen, uh, you're not gonna impress me if you if you if you get through this, because it's pretty simple. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> I have a pacemaker. One zap would kill me. Well, you are already dead. Well, I guess it's apparently harder than it looks. I supposed to get over there? Why? Oh, fuck yep, you. Get did. that fucking jump! God damn! That was a little that, that we we made it. That was a little tough though. Congratulations, shitheads! So you made it past the first training exercise. Big deal. That one was easy. We lied and said it was hard to scare you. Oh, it's fun to freak you out to fuck with your heads. Now get ready for exercise two. It starts at one hour. That's right. You have to wait a full hour. We're testing your resolve. So just stand there patiently and wait. Then this door will open and you can continue. Uh, okay, there's I'm no way we're waiting a full do hour. That. Oh, there's a hole right here. Okay, thank God. Okay, let, let's ditch this whole recruiting bullshit thing. Can you walk up the pipe? We're crouching. My guess is we head this way. Yep. Oh shit, okay, well, there goes that bootleg goop. Uh, I guess that didn't last for very long. Ew, it's gross. Oh my god, hello! Thank god you're here! My name's Dr. Jupy. Douglas kidnapped my whole family, and I'm trying to sneak in and save them. But I just can't get through these pipes in the next room. Oh my god, I'm freaking out! Hey, whoa, whoa, l l listen, little guy. We're trying to find Douglas, too. You know, maybe we can help each other. God, I'm so worried I'm gonna, gonna throw up. You really help me? Oh, gee, I'm, I'm so grateful. Follow me. He kind of sounds like Douglas, but he might just have the same voice actor. You gotta connect these pipes for me so I can get through and save my family. Hey, don't worry. The classic textbook puzzle situation. I think me and my bounty hunter partner can figure this one out. Oh, how wondrous. I'm forever in your debt. I don't know. Hey, you. God, my poor family. My wife, Plimmy. My kids, Swoopy and Froopy. I'm going to die so soon. You're too kind. It, it was easy. Uh, oh, did you say you're heading to find Douglas too? His office is that big building up on top of Dregtown. Uh, there's a zip line just past here that'll take you right to him. <laughs> huh. Well, all right then. I, I, I hope the guy gets his family back. All right, Douglas, here we come. That was the hardest part behind us. This is basically done. We finished this shit. We are full. What is this? Congratulations to all of you worms who made it this far in your training. It is now time for the final test. A bloody free-for-all. Last one standing gets to join the team. No rules, just kill it. Good luck, Wheels. Needed another fucking thing with this. Holy oh, shit, just kill it. Good job. Congratulations, recruit. Now, uh, I don't know. Fight some more guys.
Shit. Now report to your commanding officer and we'll send you off to die fighting for us on whatever dumbass planet we decide. See ya. Am I glad to see you? I'm so happy we keep running into each other. Oh, look who it's our old buddy. It's our old friend, Dr. Jupy. What are you talking about? How, wh how's it going? Uh, there's another locked door. I'm running out of time. God, I'm so worried about my kids. And a little bit about my wife, but mostly my kids. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Oh, my poor kids. I hope Douglas doesn't kill them. I can feel my wife Pliny calling for me. Okay. You're gonna solve this one too. Thank you. Uh... Swoopy and Froopy would really like you to. Oh, they're good kids. I can't wait to introduce them to you and tell them about everything you did for me. They need good, strong role models. All right. That one looks good. Oh, Pliny and the kids are probably so scared without me. I hope Douglas isn't torturing them right now. <laughs> amazing! Amazing! You did it again! Douglas's office isn't too far from here. I'm going on ahead. I'll see you there! Jesus Christ, Douglas is gonna kill Dr. Jupy. Look how, look how weak and, and cute Dr. Jupy is. Forget about it. This is an urgent announcement. This sector has temporarily been designated as a mother's for and against violent zone. That means there's probably just uh, There's always more where we came from. Oh, shit, here we go!
Welcome to the Bounty Hunters Corpse, no matter what hole. Rav, I am going to put the heading on your decision. A grid now. Joining the G3, you know, I, I, I guess I don't, I don't know. It's, I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm conflicted on it. It's rough. This is it. Douglas is right beyond this door. Can you help me out one last time? Yeah, let's do this. Oh, huzzah. Flimmy, Froopy, Sleepy, here I come. Here we go. Oh, you're so good at these. I was always as good at these as you. You're really good. Did you go to puzzle school? Trying not to think about my wife's body being ripped in half by one of Douglas's torture devices. And it's not working, to be honest! Well, I'm trying. I've decided that if my family is dead, I'm going to kill myself and join them in the afterlife. Don't talk me out of it. This is what love does to a person. Okay. Don't feel bad if it takes you a while. It's tough, right? Okay, I remember earlier I said this puzzle takes you a while, but I also want you to remember every second you take solving this is another second Douglas might be torturing and killing my family. There we go. I think. Just gonna say that that one's right. So you can go through all of that perfectly fine. That's locked or whatever. 
So then something over here. Seems like it's right. I don't know. Am I missing something? Let me figure this out. Alright, I figured that out. Yes! You're halfway there! Keep going, you can do it! Oh, I can't wait to see my little flimmy, proppy, and droopy! Okay. Are you shocked, you idiot? Thought I sounded and to think you never once suspected your helpless little friend, Dr. Juby, was actually hiding his true identity. You deal with my trained recruits, who are also my torture victims. It was actually very nice. Slice of tentacle. Oh. Ah. Cool. All right, dipshit, let's go. What? No, hello? Nice to meet you, or thank you for saving me? Why? Like, you not dying there with some sort of favor to me? Hi, I'm sweet and thanks so much for rescuing me. How is that, dipshit? Now, come on, use my time bubble to escape through the big fan in the corner. Big fan in the corner. Oh, this time bubble is that it? Pretty cool, right? You're gonna find out real fast that I'm the best Gatlian. Smart, most useful, best looking. Douglas, no, no, come it's on, come on, I'm pretty good. Where the fuck are you? 
I heard you made a complete fool of yourself at that party last night. Not good, Douglas. Not good. I'm gonna need you on top of your game now that we've got a hold of these humans. We're spread thin over on Earth, and I need more troops immediately. Not to mention things are gonna start heating up all over the galaxy as demand goes up. Big things are happening, Douglas. Get excited and get your fucking shit together. Okay, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> Okay. Let's try this again. Oops. Hey asshole, did you notice you just fell? Whoa, I don't know how now we're falling to our Let me figure this out. Aim me at those fuckers and I'll charge up a secret crystal. You can use that to detonate my smaller crystals. So just blast some normal shots, then finish them off with my super crystal. You got that, dipshit? See what else this time bubble can do? Sure. Okay, I think we have to wait for the vehicle to come on by. Great! Perfect! Now hurry and cross before it wears off! Oh. Hey asshole! Did you notice you just point. fell? Yeah, I noticed. Alright. Oops. Incredible, there we right? Go. What a thrill. You know, you can use that time bubble on the G3, too. Try loading the bubble up with my crystals. Then you'll see why I'm the best Gatlian. Wow, we're gonna make a good team. I can feel Oh, cool. Just listen to everything I say and never use the other Gatlians. Oh, my gosh. Do I go through here? That is my guess. Hey, kid. Another one down, huh? 
Great work. But, uh, hey, there's something you should see. Take a look after you're turning your bounty. Chopped off a tentacle. All right, good. Get over here. Check this out. That's Clug Nugman, Blim City Magistrate. As you all know, I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit, we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right, all right. Now catch us next bit. All about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you. They've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. Yeesh, desperate much? Can he even help us? I already told him you go. Oh, great. No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Head through there. Clug's expecting you. Sorry for making the call without you, but uh, Clug's a good man. I say we hear him out. All right. Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. It wasn't really our idea, but hey. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Uh, no. We're Gatlians. Unless you're talking about my personal chauffeur. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? Yeah, I'm sure the big hotshot politician wants blood on his hands. That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on G3. But you, you've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me, but there's also one way I can help you. Oh yeah? And how's that? This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. Alright. Well, that's a lot smaller than I thought. Thought we we're gonna take the whole thing. What's the catch? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems. Assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. Yeah, no shit, like we're gonna stop now. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zeruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We just like killing freaks. If you want to help, you're more than welcome. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Wonder what that thing is. Oh, uh, feel free to stay as long as you like. All right, I'm leaving. I get the hit. Are you? Yo. So <laughs> it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yep, and he even gave us this weird thing we could save humans with. God damn, you got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Broto's chef stand too. 
It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. The, the actor, you know, he's good. Did you put up posters? I just noticed that Tammy and her teeth hurt. I own it. All right. Let's head over to Mr. Keeps, the little pawn shop. Looks like that guy's gone also. Watch it, right now, how about some, uh, food? Not right now. We're on a mission to head to the pawn shop. All right. Yo, Mr. Keith, got any jetpacks back there? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Ah, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Nice. Don't we get a jetpack now? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No re- Alright, we have slide that. Okay. Reload ammo sack glob kitty. Bugs, I don't by think the way, have... this purchase is final. Oh, way to rip us off. Guess we'll wait. Not like we have a choice. Let's go tell Jean. Great choice. All right, I'm out of money. Head on inside and tell him that it's back ordered. We have with us today the star of the new film Turtle Fuckers, uh, Jake Turtlefuck. <laughs> Sorry, is that your real name? How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Yeah, but it's on back order. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? Gene's right. That, that's, that sounds like a good idea. All right. I mean, honestly, for me, so this is your bedroom, huh? It's fine. I mean, I'm, hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think, I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry. I'm, I, I, I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up. L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to. Let's get you to sleep. Boobs day. Orbs day. Tuesday. Squibs day. Whoa. Looks like we got it already. All right, partner. Let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Holy shit, this rules! I'm excited. Damn, you're just like a TonyHawk.com jet crack bro. Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. Before Tweet gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene. Like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. So sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot, though, right? Oh, come on. You haven't even seen him. Why'd you answer that? Trust me, you don't have to support her just because she's family. This guy's a loser. He is so hot. He's 
like a low seven or a high six, and he's really nice to me. Yeah, no ulterior motives there. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great. Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed-up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, uh, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. We're all living under the same roof, and that makes us family. And it makes her business my business. I'm the man of the house, so she needs to do what I say. And before anyone accuses me of being a misogynist, yeah, I know I'm a misogynist. We all know I'm a misogynist. That's bad, and I'm working on it. But this is about me being right and your sister being wrong. Listen to yourself. I can make my own decisions. I don't know why you think you're suddenly some father figure to me just because you're crashing on my couch and eating my diary. Oh, yeah, I said eating. He's been eating pages out of my diary. So what? My species eats paper. It's delicious. Who gives a shit? I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Tweak to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off. Just grow up and get used to me and Twig. Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Thank you. Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Gene, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. Uh, all right. Yeah, you know, I appreciate you having my back, but uh, maybe your sister's right. Or not. What do I care? Team Gene, baby. Hey, are we cool? You were kind of coming at me pretty hard during that argument. I just remember, like, we're siblings, right? And you're all I've got left right now. And Gene's a piece of shit. Oh, hey, another girl on the team. Good. Actually, I mean it. I'm not being snarky. That's so nice to see. Yeah, yeah, don't get too excited. We're not even the same species. Oh. I'm okay. Sorry we roped you into another argument. I want you to meet Tweed, by the way. I really think you'd like him. He's really nice to me, and, well, he's helping me feel a little more normal, even though his body doesn't make any fucking sense to me, and he keeps trying to take me to restaurants that don't serve anything edible to humans, but, no, he's really sweet. So don't worry about me. You can focus on killing the space mafia or whatever. Um, okay. Alright guys, I think that'll do it for today. Uh, let me know if you like this and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!